Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crafting Adventures with Amy. I first want to say welcome to any new friends that are coming to check out my channel. And thank you to everyone that keeps coming back to check out what I'm doing. Today is going to be some FOs, a lot of FOs, finished objects. I kind of have them lined up all over. So first of all, we're going to do some tatting ones. I do enjoy doing tatting. I like to crochet. I do a little bit of knitting, not a lot. Um, other crafts, I like to do diamond painting, scrapbooking, um, that, a lot of fun stuff. So I have a bunch of tatted cross bookmarks, or you can use them tatted cross. You can hang them in your house. You can do whatever with them. But the pattern is a tat called the tatted cross bookmark. So I'm going to just show a bunch of what I have here. Um, tell you what the colors are. A couple of them I don't can't find the balls for. Um, but I know they're in the house somewhere. So we're going to start right over here. And here is one of them. Some of them have been blocked, which is I lightly starch them and pull them and block them. Um, just it really helps to flatten them out better. And a lot of them are not because I just... I've been working on them this week, and I just haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. But this one is Lilac Dark is the color. I keep them all, the names, I put them on a piece of tape and put them inside of a Ziploc bag so I can remember what they're called. But here's the color. It's really, it's a beautiful dark purple. And here is that one made up. So that one is lilac dark and then this next one maybe I'll leave them in the bag this is turquoise twist is the color I hope I don't get too much of a glare on it but that's the color for that one and they're all size 20 thread that's kind of my favorite thread to use 20 and 30 is what I really like to use and here's this one. It's just a couple different blue turquoise, turquoise and then kind of a light blue. So that's that one. And then this one is called Falling Leaves. It just reminds us of fall, which fall will be here pretty soon. Fall. And that one works up like this. I'm just using a plastic bag behind them. It kind of shows it a little bit darker. It's a little bit brighter than that, true to life, but that one is called Falling Leaves. Then this one is just yellow. It's just a soft yellow. I don't think I really found, I didn't keep the name part on it, but it's just a, a yellow. And it looks like this yellow. All of them have white on the outside. And it's just a plain white. This one looks a little crooked. But when I um, when I block them, they all, it always straightens them back up. So, And then this next one, here's what the ball looks like. The thread looks like. This one is a really old one. It's a Coates and Clarks one, and it just has a color number on it, not a color name, but it's kind of like a peach pink color. So, that one. And then we have um, Raspberry Pink Medium. So, there's that one. And then the color. It's, it, again, they look darker in the light here, but it's, it's a lighter. I think because this bag is so dark, um, I can put white behind them. Then you just don't really see so that changes it a lot in my opinion well maybe not in the camera though you just don't see a lot of the the white background as well if i put white behind them so there's that one 
Now this one I have, I don't, I just must have really liked this one. I have three of this one made. And it is called Summer Fun. Summer Fun. It's kind of pastel colors. There's like a blue, a pink, a purple, a green, and then white in it. In the middle of it there. Again, I have three of those. Three of them made up. Then the next one is Raspberry Pink Light. It's a just a lighter shade of the Raspberry Pink. That one. This was the medium. This is the light. Then this next one is called Sea Green Light. And here's the cross made out of this one. And then this one is um, Ocean Turquoise. Ocean Turquoise. Oop. Sorry about the glare there. I'm trying to use a ring light today too because I really, I looked really dark when I turned the lights on. And I have a big overhead light and I have a lamp and then I added that. So, but this is the ocean, ocean turquoise. It's a nice dark turquoise color. Now the next two, I can't find the balls for them. So I really thought this one had maybe something to do with the um, jewel name because it is kind of like jewel tones. It's got a really dark, um, like, I thought of it like a rusty red in it and then it's got the like dark turquoise it's got white in it and then a dark purple it's kind of hard to see them all but it is really cool I really like that I like jewel tone colors a lot myself and this one here I'm just not sure what the, but it's a beautiful um it's a variegated one again it's got like a light pink a white and a purple. Well, maybe pink or it's a light purple in it. So. And then I made some snowflakes. And again, they're not blocked either. They kind of look worse than the cross is not blocked. But I just, I didn't have time. I wanted to get a video out. So here is one of them. And I made them all, all of these snowflakes into ornaments. But here's this one. I try to do a, you know, a, something to hang it with on a tree or it could be hung in a window. Anytime if you're hot and you want to think of snow, <laughs> maybe that would help. So I just, I have three, three or four snowflakes made. So here's another one. And then another one and the last one this one is hot off the the tatting shell this morning I just finished it I worked on it so I could get it done for this I really like this one really easy to make this one I think I'm gonna make a bunch of these now I'm kind of making them because in December I'm doing um, I'm doing a craft, doing a vendor table at a craft at an event in December. But I also want to mention all of these, if, if you want anything, if you want a tatted across bookmark, I do have some other bookmark patterns and I'm going to try to get some of them made up. They're not crosses. Not everybody likes to have a cross. Um, I do have some patterns for other bookmarks and I have made, I know I sent one to Sam from Mantha Makes. Um, she has one that's not a cross and I sent that as a happy mail to her a while ago. So I do have, um, I can make other ones, not just crosses. But if, if you're interested in any or want to have some, they make really good gifts, stocking stuffers, um, 
if someone's just going through a rough time in their life and, and you know that they would like to have a cross bookmark, um, just to send me an email. My email's in the bottom of pretty much every video I make. It's CA with Amy at yahoo.com. CA standing for crafting adventures with Amy at yahoo.com. So there, that's always down in the bottom of every video. Um, I am doing a vendor event, but I mean, I've got until December to make more. So I'll, I'll have plenty of time to make more. The um, tatted snowflakes, I just wanted to share. I'm doing patterns out of this book, Tatted Snowflakes by Vida, V-I-D-A, Sunderman, Sunderman, not M-E-N, it's M-A-N, Sunderman. Here's her name on the, the name on the back. Oh, and then it was also on the bottom here. But it's got a lot of different patterns in it. I do have some other books with snowflake patterns too that I probably will do some more of them out of. Um, so yeah, so that's my tatting stuff for this video. Let me just kind of set them aside here. I don't want to knock them off. I have other stuff to show. The other stuff is all crochet related. Okay, and if you're looking for a different color than what I've shown here, where my bag is. <laughs> I put it away so it would be out of the way. I have a bag with a lot of balls of tatting thread in it. So uh, chances are I might have something that you're looking for. Or, I mean, I can order it too. I, I do like, we all like to order stuff. But um, I, can, I can order it as well. Okay, next I am going to show... A while ago, and I think it was a bunch of Zoom sisters, I don't remember for sure, but we were all making the Amazing Grace Angel, Angel, Angel Wings Shawl. It was a free pattern, free crochet pattern. Um, here's what it looks like. It was just my notes on the bottom for what I used. Amazing Grace Angel Wings Shawl. Um, I finally finished mine. Mine didn't come out as big as this one, but maybe it's the, the yarn, you know, can make a difference. So in mine, I used the Yarn Art Flowers Moonlight. I used this yarn and I used, it's this colorway. And... It just has a color number, 3256 is the color number on it. It's 53% cotton, 43% pack. I am, I'm not 100% what that is. And then 4% metallic, because it does have the metallic string going through it. It's beautiful colors. I love these colors. Um... It's got, it's 260 grams, um, 1,093. Okay, I, I, don't, I guess I haven't seen that before. 1,093, comma, six, zero yards. I don't know. Here's, it'll... Will it zoom in on the yards down there? I don't think it is. But I don't know. I used almost a whole cake for mine. Um, I just have this small ball of it left. Um, it's a one weight, so it's a super fine sock weight. Um, I used a J hook, a six millimeter hook. It suggests that you use a three millimeter hook or two four two point five millimeter knitting needles. Um, the washing instructions. It does have that you can wash it, machine wash it, forty degrees Celsius, or God, the writing is just too small. 105 degrees Fahrenheit. I went online 
on Pinterest and they found this really neat um, washi guide for all the labels on um, on our the yarn. So it really, it really is helping me. And then it's of course no iron. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Do not tumble dry and do not bleach. And you're supposed to lay it flat, lay flat to dry. So uh, let me show you. Again, mine turned out, I think it turned out smaller. Um, get it out here. But it's a beautiful shawl. Beautiful shawl. Here's how the how the colors came out. And then it does kind of wing out. You know, at the on the on the ends for the angel wing shawl part, at the at the end it does it does kind of fan out here. So yeah. It's a beautiful shawl, beautiful pattern. Um I don't know. I don't I'm not a good model of anything, so, but it is, it is a nice size shawl, so, whew. so yeah, that's my Amazing Grace Angel Wing shawl, and then I tested a pattern, and I think I showed that in one of my last videos, I tested a pattern for someone, and I have that pattern finished, it was, it, it's a mosaic, crocheted mosaic. Now I used um, Mainstays yarn, and it's 100% acrylic. And I used, this one is just purple, pur purple multi. Mainstays yarn, purple multi. And then I just also used Mainstays just black. Whoop, with a little bit of the multi yarn sitting on it, but just black. I used three, three of the pa the purple multi and then two of the black, and this is what's left of the third black. It, it seems kind of weird because you see more black on the front than the purple, but the multi. Now I do have the this much left, one, two and then a small one out of the three I used. When I needed to start a new one, I wasn't sure if it would make it across a row and I can always use those in some other scrap projects. So it doesn't bother me that I, you know, didn't use the whole ball for each one, each ball for the project. So here is, I'll stand up and show you the finished. If I can hold it up the right direction. Nope. I don't have a lot of room to move around in here. It's not a real huge room, but here is the top of it. I did the envelope border and on the front, I did two of the purple multi and then one of the black. And then on the top, I, I used the purple to end it, to stick, do them together. Then on the back, I used two of the black, one of the purple, and then the one to go together was just on one time. So here it is. I'll kind of show it the top of the head, and then the eyes. It's really a cool, it's a cool afghan, or more like a lap blanket size. And here is, remember, it is like a sugar skull pattern. There, up, up, get my fingers to work, and then the bottom of it. And then I'll just quickly show you the back. The um, mosaic on the back is really cool too. It's just a fun, you can kind of see the pattern in there, but the back, you know, always looks, looks really neat too. So, now she has... The lady that I tested it for, she has released the pattern 
and it is on Ravelry and I think Etsy. And if I can find it on one or the other, I'll put it down below. I did use both the written, written pattern and then there's also a graph for it as well. So I did use a little bit of both because I was testing it. So you want to make sure um, that the pattern is right on both, both ways. And then the last thing, I had a, someone tagged me on something um, on Facebook and then a relative of mine asked me how much it would cost or if I could make it for him. And what it is, is Woodland Friends Lovies. It kind of looks like Winnie the Pooh characters, but they can't, you know, because of um, copyright, they can't, you know, label it as that. But here's what it is, the pad, the front page of the pattern. It is a paid pattern, so I did buy the pattern, which I don't mind supporting other creators. And because then you've got the pattern forever as well. I did find it on Etsy. Now, I think you can buy the characters by themselves as well. You don't have to buy the whole six, six of them together. Um, but she, the lady that wanted it did want all of the characters. So now I have lots of yarn here, but I wasn't sure if I had the exact, I kind of wanted to have the exact colors. That way I could maybe look through my yarn now and kind of pick out colors maybe that would match it for future reference. So, um, the co suggested material colors was all, um, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. So I did an order and had it, had it mailed here. So I'll show you one character at a time. And so this is the donkey, or as we would know as Eeyore, but the donkey. And you have the lovey part on the bottom. Then you've got his face and his mane. And then he's got his two little arms right here. This one is, I, I do in home daycare and the kids really like this one. But it was kind of, I don't want to say the hardest one, but it was kind of hard to make because you have to add the, the mane on top. But here's the donkey. And for the donkey... We used, uh, I used Dark Country Blue. I love this yarn. It's all, I love this yarn. It's made in Turkey. It's 100% poly acrylic yarn. It can be washed, dried, no ironing, no bleaching. Um, it's a four weight yarn. So here is the Dark Country Blue that I used. And then I also used this um, called gray beard and these were the suggested colors and then we al also used some black black and white and I think I just used mainstay black and white that I had on hand and then the safety eyes and stuff on it as well then we have the owl and here's the owl really fun to make as well. I had fun making these. It didn't take me too long. I mean, this was something I could kind of play with, work on making a little bit during daycare too. Um, for me, the challenge is always getting like the head on. You know, I tried to make it to where the head was facing one of the, the points. I did on some, I didn't on some. But he's got little, his wings are right here. So we've got wings and then his head and he's got a beard, which is done with just white and then his beak, you know, and, and the rest of them. So for the owl, we used, I've got all the colors sitting down here. Um, doo -doo. And again, it's just all, I love this yarn. And we used ivory. Ivory. Um, we use some sun gold for the beak. And then uh, just brown for the, the main part. And then just a, a little bit of toasted, toasted almond. Yep, 
toasted almond, and that was just for around the eyes. Now we do use more of the sun gold for, um, he's for Winnie the Pooh, a big amount for that. So, but again, I wanted to get the colors that they use so I could kind of have them and be able to maybe pair up some other colors. Um, and I did buy all this on the 30% off week, so I didn't pay full price. You know, I did thir got 30% off. And here's Piglet, or they just call the pig. Here's Piglet. And then Piglet was supposed to be with pink and that berry and black. So I was able to find, I didn't find one labeled just berry. This was mixed berry. So I used mixed berry. And then doo, 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 pink. So here's pink. And then the black is just, you know, the black was just for like the eyebrows. And that I just used the mainstay black I had here. So, so here's Piglet. And then we've got Rabbit. Everything's kind of squished up. These will be going next weekend on Saturday to to the person they live in Wisconsin we're going to a reunion so I wanted to get them done by then because that's where they're gonna go the ear, ears are a little wonky from kind of being squished in the uh, up in the box here but here's rabbit and again this black was just the mainstay black but the two color the other two well and the white too is just mainstay white and then um we used do, do I think that yep this is it buttercup just a real pale yellow buttercup for the main part of the yellow on that and then we've got tigger or the tiger <laughs> again the ear the ears on all of them are a little wonky but little arms and his head and his lovey and for him, we used orange. It's a really, it's a really bold orange. It was oranger than I thought it would be, but it's, it's really cool. And the black again was just the mainstay black. Um, the pink was the same pink I used on Piglet for the nose. And then the white was just the mainstay, you know, just white you have in your stash. Then the last one is the bear, Winnie the Pooh, the bear. And for the bear, we used red, which is just red. And then we used the sun gold. And again, just a little bit of black from your stash or whatever here. So these were really fun. They were really fun to make. Let me get them all out here. See if I can hold all six of them. I don't know if I can hold them all to where you can see all their little cute little faces. Or maybe we can do it that way. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! It's hard to hold them all. I, I'm not I'm not talented enough to do that. And Rabbit is backwards and Pooh hiding up there. So yeah, so they, there's all of them. So they were really, they were fun to make. And like I said, it didn't, it really didn't take that long. Um, seeing as I do in-home daycare and stuff too, I'm pretty busy. And I think that's all I had to show, but that's quite a bit today. Um, yeah. So I just want to end uh, by, yep, I already showed the pattern. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So Enjoy your craft, whatever craft it is. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.